Welcome to another LEGO Ninjago set review by Ninja J Entertainment. This set is a much promised um, Master Wu Dragon, which I promised um, a few weeks ago when I did my Ronin Rex review. But now I am finally uploading it and letting you see this really cool set. It comes with a lot of stuff. Um, it comes with 575 pieces and 5 minifigures. It's set 70734 and is recommended to ages 8 to 14. First, let's start with the box. So on this box you have the symbol up here. You have the minifigures at the bottom. And all the box art. On this side you just have some more stuff. On the top you have the minifigures. You have the Husky, the Screamer, Wu, Carl, Soul Archer, Pitch, Hackler. And then when we turn the box around, you have some play features of the set. Shows the um, thing of Cole getting possessed. Um, the website and the Aeroblade thing. So let's get straight, straight on to the minifigures. Um, yeah. So we will do the minifigures first and show you all these very cool new minifigures. So first, I know it's not a minifigure, but we will start with a husky. So you can see it is just the regular husky, but with this crossbow on the side. You can see how that's attached with a piece, this piece, and yeah, that's that. And you can just see the husky. Some nice print on her. Now we will move on to the good guys. So first up we have Wu, who is a very cool new minifigure. And you can see that he has this cool weapon in his hand, which has the handle and then it has these two black spikes on it. And then the minifigure himself has the sensei hat. And the face is a bit different. The expression is new. I'll just make sure you can see that. And then you see a lot of really nice gold, and grey and white printing on them. Which I think is absolutely amazing. We haven't had a new Sensei Wu figure for quite a while, really. Because... Last time we got him was Evil Wu from the must, um, type, the Mech Dragon. So now we have Carl, the only ninja in this set. He has this um, axe piece, which has got some gold, and then it's got the teeth up here. Um, and he has some very nice printing. He has the black katana. Then he has the black and grey mask because his colour for this wave is going to be grey as black is the colour of all the ninjas for the deep stone armour. And he has, as I said a minute ago, deep stone armour and some very nice back printing and front printing. So, I'm sure you all agree with me that he is a very good minifigure. Nice to get him. You get you can get him four times if you include the temper budget. So, so now we will move on to the ghosts. First up for the ghosts, we have Soul Archer. Very cool figure. He is a bit taller than the other minifigures. So, yeah, you'll have to bear with me on this. So yeah, he has the nice mask piece, which only comes on him and Wraith, and that figure in the battle pack, which has not been released yet. He has a purple band around it, and then you can see he has some very cool weapons. He has this bow, and a little dagger. Um, in the show, his bow shoots the screamers. And you can see the nice trans green head with the um, silver band and then the sort of moustache and stuff. 
He has the common ghost armour that comes on a lot of the ghost figures. And you can see the new um, tail piece on there and the um, torso print front and back. And he's a very cool minifigure. Next, we have Hackler, who is again an extremely good minifigure. He has a lot of weaponry. I am surprised he can even stand up. So he has this um, blade with an axe and stuff. It's a very cool weapon. He has this shield. And as we turn him around, he has the two swords in the back in the mint green. And then he has the new head piece for the ghost ninjas. You can see he has the face common to all the foot soldiers. He has the sword bit and then that's just basic printing in there. Last minifigure we have here is Pitch who is an awesome minifigure. He has some very nice printing and he has this dagger and pitchfork. He has the purple rice hat, the face with half mask. His face is not trans green, but I don't care. Still a very cool head. And he has this, and he has the basic printing. The only thing I have left to show you for sort of minifigures is this screamer who has a bone, this, and then basic screamer, and it can go on the head of one of your ninja minifigs, so you can possess them, which is a cool feature. Now we move on to the rest of the set. First up we have this possessed rickshaw, so you can see from the front it has the um, crystal um, ARJ 3200 and then it has um, the disc shooter which just shoots off well and it has the screamer and then you can see this nice bit and it's not symmetrical which makes it look even more rugged and that can just clap down you have two more screamer discs and a pot of something here the nice wheels and these bits going over and then yeah you can see that you push that forward it fires off and then you see the handle that you can push it by just goes on a destruction course while I show you this. This is the little Sensei Wu's tea farm. You can see it has the arrow blade for Sensei Wu in the middle and it's got the gold and it's got this handle bit and you know, like this entrance place with the nice sticker there. It's a very nice sticker with like Sensei Wu holding a teapot. And you have this nice like battlements arrangement here and you can move it around because it's on mini ball joints so same on this side and you have flick missiles you, of course you know how they work if you turn it around you can see that it's like an aiming screen screen so you can aim at screamers and that's just that so lots of nice details there now we move on to the main part of the set which is this massive sensei wu dragon I love this dragon, especially its head, as it looks very Japanese. So you can open that up and close it. Which is very cool. You can have, and you see some little teeth. Um, the unikitty tail, which is a very cool touch. And sort of, to make it look like Sensei Wu's dragon, it's sort of a moustache which and a beard, which is just very cool use. And you have the white croissants which is a very cool use of the piece and some guns there to just make use of that you have the blue eyes and 
that the mouth can open like that. And you can see some teacups under here. And you finally get Sensei Wu's tea mug, which is definitely got to be spoken about. It's in the azure blue, which is a very cool piece to get. And then you have this holder for the teapot. The feet are on ball joints and ratchet. So you can just adjust his pose. And the tail can move up and down and like that. You have this place for Sensei Wu to sit. And you have the flags there, the flame on the top. On the side you have the gold flame bits and wings on the wings and stuff. And um, the, these are on ball joints again. Tail is very good. Lots of flexibility in that. You can basically make it look however you want to. And then you've got the back legs. Yeah. And I really like the use of these orange pieces in there. And that's just the little place where Sensei we can sit while he flies his awesome dragon. You can even put it down like that so then Sensei we can kind of walk up here, sit there. You've even got a little spot for his staff down here. Yeah. Um, so I love this dragon, it's very cool. Um, please comment, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.